a Broward Sheriff's deputy, who was acquitted on charges of stealing during a drug bust several years ago, is now facing a slew of new charges after detectives say he was involved in a drug trafficking organization. Albury Burroughs, 47, who is stationed at the Port Everglades district, was arrested Monday while he was working. He faces 10 charges, including racketeering, using a two-way communication device to facilitate a felony, owning or renting a place for the purpose of trafficking drugs and tampering with evidence. His bond was set for $271,000. Everyone who wears our uniform swore to serve and protect the residents of Broward County, not abuse their power for a self-serving purpose, Broward Sheriff Scott Israel said, in a news release. Although disappointing, this arrest is yet another example of how the professionals in our agency will follow leads wherever they take them, even if that means arresting a fellow deputy who has done wrong. According to a 113-page arrest affidavit, Burroughs, an 18-year BSO veteran, was one of 15 people implicated in what detectives are calling a drug trafficking organization dubbed the Base Denalan Organization. Beginning in January, BSO and the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration began looking into the organization, which, according to the affidavit, is responsible for importing and distributing large quantities of cocaine and heroin, among other illicit drugs, through Palm Beach, Broward and Miami-Dade counties. According to the arrest affidavit, detectives tracked oral and electronic communications for about 60 days from devices belonging to Michael Allen and Jeffrey Baston. Both Allen and Baston were involved in the distribution of cocaine and heroin, according to the affidavit. Through the investigation, detectives identified several people involved in the organization, including Burroughs. Burroughs' role, a detective wrote in the document, was helping Baston by advising him on law enforcement tactics, as part of ongoing efforts to avoid detection and prosecution for crimes committed in furtherance of the unlawful enterprise. In one case, Burroughs gave Baston, who, according to the affidavit, is his cousin, information about police activity in his area. During a phone call in November, Burroughs checked a database and told his cousin there was police activity in the area, but not at his apartment. The detective wrote. Later in November, Baston called Burroughs to tell him that deputies served a search warrant at his house. Burroughs, according to the affidavit, told his cousin to go to the Internal Affairs Department immediately and file a false report saying he was missing items, including money. On Tuesday, BSO said Burroughs had been suspended without pay. I demand our deputies give their best to our community and the community wants and expects to receive the best from us, Israel said in the news release Tuesday. In 2010, Burroughs was arrested after detectives said he stole $1,200 from a marijuana grow house bust, according to the Sun Sentinel. He was acquitted.